Most likely to haul Newcastle back from the brink. The Brazilians' pace constantly spelled danger. United old boy Neil McDonald cleared up here, but Mira was not to be denied for long. From Kevin Brock's corner, first Andy Thorne had a go, then Kevin Scott. But it was Mira whose sharp reactions were quick enough to steer the ball home. 19 minutes gone, Newcastle had the start they needed, and Mira was in the mood to run rings around everyone. The same could hardly be said for Everton. With two cup finals there aim, they were hardly straining at the leash. This weak effort by Graham Sharp was a rare chance. Kevin Scott has to be one of Newcastle's real successes. Here he comes storming forward and sets Frank Pingle one-on-one with Neville Southall, but the Welsh international takes some beating. Mira was still looking lively though. He's away from the defence again, and how Pingle didn't make this number two, even the big Dane must still be working out. In the second half, Pingle was at it again. You can't fault Big Frank for effort, and this brave solo was only a foot or two away from hitting the highest notes. Everton's best chance emerged through the snowstorm, but Stuart McCall got the angles wrong, and Everton were about to be frozen out. It was that willing worker, John Hendry, who provided the telling cross for one of Newcastle's more unsung heroes. Liam O'Brien it was who turned immaculately and smashed the ball home with real venom. O'Brien deserved his reward and the general relief was understandable. Newcastle could have extended their lead even further and helped their dreadful goal difference. But John Hendry couldn't keep his shot down from this opening. Finally, Merendini reminded everybody of his passing ability splitting the defence here. But Hendry drifted just a little too wide to give himself any real chance with the shot. But by then, Newcastle were home and dry for their first home win in nearly four months.